Last Tuesday, Beverly Gooden, the creator of the hashtag Why I Stayed, organized an event to discuss the complexities of living in unhealthy and abusive relationships. Not only did Gooden share her story, she shared how abusive relationships could be prevented in the future. This momentous event sparked hope and resonated with many students. Caroline Myers was there to cover the event. As college ended, Gooden found herself in a marriage that was quickly escalating to being abusive. After a year, she decided to leave her physically abusive husband and ended up creating a hashtag called Why I Stayed. What made you want to speak to others about your experience? Um, I just felt there was something missing in the conversation about it. You know, everyone asked questions about um, things that didn't have to do with the victim or that didn't center the victim. Mm -hmm. And I felt that there was really an opportunity there to talk specifically about the victims who stay. Like they don't leave the relationship, they don't run, they don't get out of there, they just stay. And what that feels like, like and what that looks like and how that can affect you long term or short term. Hashtag why I stayed gives light to the many reasons why victims of abusive relationships can immediately leave the abuse like everyone tells them to. Gooden says her mission is to put the blame on the abuser, not the victim. I think because I met my ex-husband in college, mm -hmm. I think it's really important to engage the college community mm -hmm. with this information. I think the lasting effect that I would really like it to have is that everyone here can recognize the signs of an unhealthy relationship, know what they are, know what the words mean, and then share that with other people that maybe yes. couldn't have been here tonight. Beverly Gooden's relatable story and optimistic outlook made her an extremely popular speaker. She has even been on shows like Good Morning America, CNN, NBC Nightly News, Time Magazine, The Washington Post, Inside Edition, and HLN, all for her very important story. You, if it's like the middle of the night and there's no one there to talk to you, the, the National Domestic Violence Hotline has a number mm -hmm. or a chat. Like you can chat with them on your oh, phone. Oh, okay, that's convenient. Mm -hmm. It's just like um, the hotline.org where you can get that information. And then I say if you're in immediate danger, always call the police. Yes. But if your danger isn't immediate and you're just feeling some type of way about it, contact the counseling center um, and just talk to them about whatever's going on with you. The very large crowd that attended this event shows the tremendous impact Gooden has made already. Remember to always speak up. Reporting from the Lecture Center, Caroline Myers, NPC-TV.